Hey everybody, so today is July 3rd, 2020, and that means it's a big day. Today is Evie's birthday. Now this might sound silly, but every single year for our dog's birthday, we make them a special cake. Now it's not made with real sugary frosting or um, any kind of doughy cake batter. We give our dogs ground beef with ricotta cheese and some dog biscuits for their cake. It's one time a year, it's super special, and they love it. Now this year, our family has grown even bigger because we now have chickens and we also have kitty cats. So of course, they're gonna get some cake too. Let's go take a look. We traditionally give the dogs their own little birthday cake every single year, and this year is no exception except we also have the kitty cats who are gonna join in. And we'll also make a little bit for the chickens too. So I just start with some plain old ground beef. The ground beef is the cake mix of this cake. All right, so then I added ricotta cheese as the icing on the cake. And instead of flaming candles, we have some dog biscuits. And Evie is turning three years old this year, so she gets three biscuits. Now I didn't add as much cheese to the little cat's portions and they got little kitty cat treats. All right, they can smell it. So we're gonna give the boys their cake because they can't come outside with us. Hey boys. So I know y'all see this raw meat here. If I could afford it and if I had the time right now, we would be feeding raw to both our dogs and our cats. But that is not the case right now. The first year and a half that we had Evie, we raised her on raw just so that she could develop and grow um, properly. And then once she was fully mature, we dialed it back and went back on to commercial feed just because, one, I mean, it was so time consuming. So I think once we really get into homesteading and I have more time, like if I don't have a full-time job and homesteading is my full-time job, then I will definitely go back to making raw meals for the animals because I think they just do best on it. Now these aren't balanced. This is just cake, you know, like it's like a snack, like, you know, so it's not going to be a complete meal. We're actually going to feed these guys later and we're going to feed the dogs their dinner after as well. Good job, boys. These boys are getting neutered next week, next Wednesday, so wish them luck. They have no idea what they're in for. Alright, y'all enjoy. And don't feel like you guys have to eat it all. If you don't want to, the rest will go to the chickens. <laughs> Russell keeps taking Remy's. Good job, boys. It's good stuff. It's good. <laughs> we can't forget about the chickens. They want some cake batter as well. And chickens are omnivores. Ah, uh, 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 girls, come on. Come back in. I'm just trying to escape. Come on, Ariel, inside. <laughs> they know I have food. So chickens are omnivores, so they can eat meat. They can eat pretty much anything, almost. And as long as you don't feed them raw chicken, they can have raw meat. So if you, I mean, chickens can eat chicken. They are cannibals. They will eat chicken. They actually love chicken but you want to cook it. Beef, cake batter, <laughs> they can eat raw. Oh my goodness. I think they like ground beef. What do y'all think? About 30 seconds, it is gone. Chickens are really good at cleaning their plates, too. Evie, what happened? Did they get some of your cake? You have your own cake. Party time. 
All right, we're not gonna eat the plate. Oh, <laughs> gonna run off with the plate. Let me see it. Let me see it. Good job. Very good. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Evie. Happy birthday to you. Good. Make a wish. All right, you want to go up, blow out your candles? Make a wish. <laughs> oh, there's the cake already. Here, you can have the cake too. Here you go, my love. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I thought she was going to go for the bone first. Nope. All right. Good Why job. She says, you don't eat candles first. Silly people. <laughs> <laughs> she got a point. <laughs> My goodness, Dyson. And it's gone. You can chew it. <laughs> she says, I can't wait till it's my birthday next month. We get Aww. cake again. We don't celebrate Dyson's Yes, we do. <laughs> we celebrate everybody's birthdays. <laughs> That's like my mom and dad. Uh, we, they've got two pets. Yummy. Yeah, that was good. We that was so good. Mm. Evie, you're three years old. How does it feel? She says, I want more cake. <laughs> she says Dyson. What'd you think? Don't you think Dyson? It's pretty good, huh? You need more cake, right? It's pretty good. So not to my surprise, we just wanted to include them. The cats, they didn't really like this. So I'm sure the chickens will make short work of this. My goodness. There you go, girl. We're feeding the cats dinner now anyway. They really love their cat food. So they got to lick it. They licked the, this cake a little bit, and that was enough for the little boys. Girls, is it gone already? <laughs> That's it. Extra protein tonight. And that's all it takes. Thank you guys so much for sharing and celebrating our little puppy dog's birthday with us. We can't believe that she turned three years old. Now, let me know, what do you guys do for y'all's pet's birthdays? Leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and otherwise we will see you on this week's garden tour coming up in just a few days. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a good night. I'm going to get back in there and have some cake of my own. Maybe it won't be ground beef, though. What do y'all think? <laughs> y'all have a good night.